a sad story written by not pregnant thank god Harry was once again lying in a pool of blood, his own blood. Who would have thought that Harry would die this way? Potter! his uncle yelled. Harry tried to get up, best he could, but he was, still wasn't fast enough. His uncle stormed in. Ignoring my calls, I... Vernon then continued to beat Harry until he was on the brink of unconsciousness. You will respond when I speak to you, Vernon yelled at Harry. Yes, sir. I did not say that you could speak. Do you understand? Harry didn't reply. Answer me, Vernon yelled. Yes, sir. The family is going out to dinner, he began. You'll stay here, but you'll be somewhere where you can't make any trouble, he said as he grabbed Harry by the neck and dragged him out to the garden shed. He then padlocked the door with at least twenty locks. How did this happen, Harry thought to himself. Earlier that summer, Harry was sitting in his room all alone. He hadn't eaten for days and the Dursleys had made sure that he didn't get any food parcels. They also made sure that Harry didn't send any letters by killing Hedwig. Harry remembers the day they killed her. It was only hours after he had arrived back from school. Boy, come here. Bring that bloody bird. Harry didn't know how his life was going to change in that instant. Harry carried Hedwig over and handed it to his uncle. His uncle then pulled out a shotgun with a silencer on it and shot Hedwig in then less than a second. Hedwig! Harry screamed as he tried to get over to his dead bird's body. He was stopped by his uncle. Harry had never gotten beaten before except for Dudley, but he, al he had always managed to escape. His was different. Vernon was way bigger and stronger than Dudley. Harry was unconscious in the hour. When he came to you, Harry went for a walk. He was scavenging for newspapers and bins, like he did last year. When he laid eyes on the girl, her face was bruised and bleeding like the rest of her body. She was the most beautiful thing Harry had ever seen. Oh my God, are you all right? She looked at the speaker, then at his scar. I do not need your help, Harry Potter. You're a witch, Harry said surprised. There wasn't any witches or wizards for miles. Not for long. Let me help you, please. Why would the famous Harry Potter want to help a commoner? I'm sure you have bigger problems. Why do you think I wouldn't help you? He really didn't need any more reminding of Voldemort. He took her to the garden shed. Hours turned into days. Days into weeks. Her name was Maria. She told him that her father was the one responsible for the beatings. They had begun to fall in love. One day Vernon walked in on the two, while they were eating. Vernon took the liberty to return the girl back to her father. The beatings had gotten worse than they were before. Harry thought of the memory. It was hard to believe that it had only happened three weeks ago. It seemed like an eternity. Maria was getting beaten for the third time that day. Her father's shoes, still capped, hit her kidney. She knew that she was, should be unconscious, but there was something wrong with Harry. She ran outside, and he made it to Harry's house just in time to see Uncle Vernon come from the backyard, his hands covered in blood. She ran to the backyard, but was stopped by Vernon and her father. I can't wait to see Harry, Ron said. He was in the car driving to Harry's house. Yeah, talk about a great birthday present, getting away from the Dursleys. They then stooped a house away from Harry's house to hear someone screaming, whimpering. The five of them, Fred, George, Charlie, Ron, and Mr. Weasley, saw two grown men beating and kicking a figure on the floor. Mr. Weasley stunned both of them, including Dudley and Petunia, who were in the car. Vernon got the last word. It's too late, my dear. They turned around and saw the figure running into the backyard. They followed her. She ran to the garden shed. Mr. Weasley tried to pull her away so that they could open the locks. When they did, she ran in, then screamed. She came out with the lifeless body of Harry. The Weasley could do nothing but stand there in shock and cry. No! Harry! No, Harry! Please don't leave me! It's my time to go. No! Not yet! She pleaded. Harry, I'm pregnant. You're going to be a father. That's why you can't leave me. I'm sorry. 
I'll always love you. His eyes went to the back of his head and falling lifeless in his lover's arms. The chaos erupted and the world crashed around the two. Ha 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 